Those kids are the only ones which have sent you to the old age home. Those kids are the only ones which has come back and asked you for the share of your property. If they have been taught beautifully, if they, these kids are not robbers, then what Bruce Lee said, draw a circle and without touching the circle, can you make the circle bigger? And one person said, draw another big circle, without touching the circle, draw. that means what family has got the property without touching property, make a bigger property and then show to the family the small property auto melts with you. Instead of that, you become pauper, you become poor, you are a beggar, a cheap beggar in the street. After learning all this in the schools and colleges, you go and try to ask your parents for their part of the property. Bodhi Dharma says, if you bring me that mind, I will pacify it for you. If you bring me the wealth and the health, show me in my hand, I can just show you the whole world's wealth. It is not possible because the wealth and the health is your way of life. When you know, you see your wife, you see your sister, your brother, when you hug it, that is the wealth and the health. When you see the father and mother, you don't even hug them. You just fall flat on the floor, holding on to the feet is the foundation. And when you get up, it is their duty to hug. And in that hugging of the experience that melts into your body is the wealth and the health. <laughs> you, in that, you understand what is love. You understand what is truth. You have already got it. You don't have to say, I have the wealth and the health. That is the greatest happiness. And in that happiness, you will stabilize the samskriti. You don't even have to use the samskriti. It is a way of life like my children early morning. The nostril blood and they put the finger and gargle it up and vomit it up. They know how to cleanse it. <laughs> Nobody over here will eat any food without taking anything which is bitter. Yes. The bitter, when you take the bitter leaf in the mouth, the mouth will tell all other sweets have been poisoned and it is not good for you to eat. <laughs> the body will tell you, you don't have to go to the doctor to find, you don't have to go to gymnasium for get, getting your health. The successor says, when I search my mind, I cannot hold it. <laughs> yes. When I search, you cannot hold it. When you search for a health, you cannot hold it. When you search for your wealth, you cannot hold it. <laughs> when you search and you hold it, it runs away, it seems. Keep it open, it stays. When I search my mind, I cannot hold it. Both of them. When your mind is specified, then your mind is specified. When you cannot hold it, it is specified already because it is already yours. Where you are going to hold it if you can't enjoy the nature? When you cannot look into the sky and enjoy the stars and the beautiful sunset and the sunrise? When you couldn't open your eyes, eyes to see two and a half kilometers deep down with the beautiful birds singing and you and the birds song melts together? When you do not know how to hug the tree, you cannot know how to hug your people. You are always a dandupal, a gang wanted to get delivered in the jails so that you become a bigger robber to go back to your father and mother and ask for a share of your property. Shameless beggars, come out of that beggary. Drop what you have studied in the schools and colleges. Not that it is wrong. You have understood that bookish knowledge. You have understood that the robbery mind of this so that you can come back home and then you can Save that beauty of the nature, beauty of your father and mother who has given unconditional love of your grandfather and grandmother. When the child is born, the aunties and uncles come hugging and kissing your bum and your gundi everywhere. Wow!